Hey, I wanted to um, help some of you out. I was having um, some core dump problems with my Python um, and installing TensorFlow on my laptop. Um, I, ca I have a semi-old laptop. Um, I bought it used. Um, I'll show you the specs here. Okay, so if we pull up NeoFetch, um, I mean, you can see that I have an i5, you know, which is good enough for my laptop, but um, is not the newest, I guess. Um, so I was running into some problems with installing TensorFlow on my laptop. I'm having no problems whatsoever on my desktop, um, which is um, not top of the line, but it's newer. Um, so I'm having less problems with that. But anyway, um, so I'm seeing on message boards that a lot of other people have been running into this problem um, and they're not sure what they're supposed to do, how to resolve it. There's a lot of people saying that you need to uh, revert back to TensorFlow, TensorFlow 1.5 um, if you want this to work and um, well I guess first let's get into the problem. Um, so the problem is when you would normally, you would say uh, pip install tensorflow. So this is how you would normally go about it. This is how, um, you know, essentially any documentation online is going to tell you to do it. So you'll say uh, pip install tensorflow. It's going to collect tensorflow and it's going to make that for us. And now, at the end of this, we're going to see an error pop up. But let's um, install this first. Okay, so it's downloading, it's installing it. Hopefully, it won't run into any problems because now I've installed many different versions of TensorFlow to find how to resolve this error. Okay, so it says it has installed. Okay, so the next thing you would do is you go, okay, I want to go to Python. Maybe I'll go, well, let's just go to regular Python. So I'll go to Python and then I want to import. This is how you would check to see if TensorFlow is working. Import TensorFlow. Um, as TF. Any book's going to tell you to do this. Okay, and here is the error that I am talking about. Uh, illegal instruction core dump. Now you may also, um, at one point, um, in trying to resolve this issue, I also saw an AVX error. Okay, and that has to do, I believe, with the architecture of the processors, since older processors don't have um, some of the newer uh, architecture that TensorFlow is based off. Uh, the default um, and going forward TensorFlow distributions are not going to work with um, they're not going to work with our systems. However, we can revert to older ones um, so we can still get some work done and that's awesome. Uh, so this is how I would suggest to do it. So um, here's just the basic TensorFlow. I believe 2.0 Alpha just came out last night, um, which is kind of exciting. Um, obviously, I won't be doing that on my laptop, but um, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to uh, check out the new features in there. However, uh, for now, I want to install this on my laptop. So what I need to do is I need to um, I need to build this from source. Okay, this is open source project. Um, it, the default distribution is not going to work for my laptop, so what I need to do is I need to build it from source. It's not as hard as it sounds. Okay, so all you really need to do, um, if you're on Ubuntu, um, is that you need to just copy and paste this into your terminal here. So you can just copy and paste here. Um, now it might squawk since I've already done this before. Let's see. Okay, I'll put my secret password in and it's going to build some trees. Awesome. Okay. Um, so that wasn't so hard, was it? Now, all you have to do, um, hopefully, I'm going to pull up my file system. Hopefully, there's nothing to docs in here. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, you probably can't even see it. Okay. Right there um, is the TensorFlow uh, folder. So we need to get into that. So I'm going to go uh, change directory, uh, TensorFlow. Okay, here we go. Now, let's open that. 
Now what I need to do is I need to configure my system. So I'm going to do um, dot slash configure. I don't think I have to be a super user to do this. I don't remember now. Okay, now it's going to say, do you want to do the default? Yeah, default everything. Just keep hitting enter. Don't, yes or no, just, yeah, okay. Now, that's all it was. That was literally building it from source. Let the computer do all the work for you. Okay, so now, um, I believe we are almost done, if you can believe it. Um, so, we can't do it within this folder, so we need to back out. So I'm going to change directory. I'm going to go back home. I'm going to clear this up. Okay. Now, uh, I believe this should work. Let's see. Okay. So let's pull up Python. Python. Okay, great. You can see I did install the Anaconda. Um, I went ahead and installed Anaconda. A lot of people suggest it. Um, I was a little hesitant to add that much to my system if I wasn't sure that I was going to use all that. However, there are a lot of uh, great data science packages, and I think I probably will end up playing with most of them. So, you know, it's kind of a it's kind of bloatware, but I think it actually probably is useful. So, um, yeah. So that's why it's saying Anaconda. It might not say that in our system. Okay. So let's see if we can import TensorFlow. Import TensorFlow as TF. And it didn't work. Okay. Hmm. So what did I do wrong? Okay, let's try again. So CD um, TensorFlow. Let's go back. Yeah. Let's go list. Let's go sudo configure. I think I know what I did here. Default, 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 default. Oh, I think I know what I did. Okay. So, Python. Tensor. Well, as I bet it's going to give me that error again. Sure enough, it did. Okay. So, here's what happened. Uh, to make this video, um, I what I did was I installed a version of TensorFlow that's not going to work. I need to take that off my system. Most likely you will too actually because you've probably tried this and then found this video. So what we need to do is we need to go pip that's the installer pip uninstall TensorFlow okay. okay yes I want to do that so yeah, most likely you will need to do that step as well. Okay, now let's install the version we actually want to use. Okay, change TensorFlow. Okay, now um, list, and I don't believe I have to be a super user. Configure. Okay. This time it should work. Okay, we'll only have one version. Yep, I want default, default. Enter, 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 enter. Okay. So now all we have to do is we have to get out of the source folder because we can't open it within the source folder. Um, let's clear so we can see. Now, drum roll, please. Python import tensor flow as tf. There it is. It almost appears that nothing happened at all, but something did happen. It worked, okay? So that's what you're going to need to do. Um, you're going to need to import that from source. Not that big a deal. Um, just to show you, like, let's say I want to import NumPy, which NumPy is awesome. Um, it's becoming uh, my new favorite calculator. Okay, so that's what happens. Basically, nothing happens. It's, now it's just imported into your session, and it's waiting for you to... Um, to tell it to do something, but that's what you want to happen. Now you can use your system. Um, so yeah, the only thing you do is you just need to get this um, from their website. So you can go to tensorflow.org slash install slash source and get that and they have all this documentation right here. They even tell you to do that, you know, dot slash configure. Um, 
you may or may not actually have to install Bazil. I did install it myself. Um, that was not terribly difficult, but you may have to install it if you do not already have it. Um, however, that ended up being very easy. Um, and if you follow the message boards online, you can get some um, information that is not quite right. And I think the reason why it's not quite right is that um, people that are trying to answer questions, it, it's already working on their system, so they can't replicate those errors. So uh, I at least have a system where I can replicate those errors. Now, looking forward to the future, I think I'm probably going to be out of luck. I'm not going to be able to move on to 2.0. Um, in the future, I think I'm just probably out of luck for this laptop. Um, and that's okay. That's okay. Um, you know, it's not... You know, I'm already not going to use GPU computing because it's just not up to the task. Um, you'd probably want, you know, kind of like a gaming PC to do something like that or, or a newer, stronger laptop. And that's okay. Um, so as far as now that you've got it installed, hopefully, hopefully you've got it installed, it's probably time to start learning some TensorFlow. TensorFlow has some pretty good documentation just with on their own website, so you can click learn, uh, learn TensorFlow uh, machine learning tutorials. Um, here they've got some um, code all ready to go. Uh, this this little um, project here sorts through um, very small images of clothes and it uh, teaches your computer to be able to start identifying what a shirt is, what pants are, <laughs> what shoes are. Um, so that's fun. Here's, um, here's another experiment where you are going to train your computer to start recognize these symbols or handwritten symbols for basically integers and that's pretty exciting too um, so yeah hopefully that's on your system hopefully that's starting to work now hopefully you're um, on the road to actually being able to start learning some tensorflow so basically the easy stuff's over now now you actually gotta start learning and playing around um, I'm right now I have a couple books on tensorflow myself um, right now I out of the books that I have, and I haven't seen a lot of people um, pushing this one, TensorFlow, TensorFlow for Deep Learning, um, I think is actually a really, really good book in that um, it actually kind of explains some of the theory behind the tensors, tensor multiplication, tensor addition, uh, rank tensors the rank of tensors um, it actually kind of dives into that so you have some understanding of what is going on um, there's another book uh, a really good book called hands on um, with tensorflow and scikit <coughs> and uh, that's really good but it doesn't get into the theory it's more practical however um, just you know, going through the first couple of chapters, I was able to replicate what was going on, but I wasn't mm, totally able to understand what was happening or why we were doing what we were doing. So, I would suggest, um, or at least this is what I'm doing, I'm going through this book, TensorFlow for Deep Learning, um, first, and then I'm going to get into some more hands-on, more practical, um, less theory-intensive books. Um, a great book on just the subject of tensors um, is a book um, called Gravitation that I bought, I can't spell, but um, I bought for uh, gra my uh, grad e &M class. Um, so that may sound like a lot, $54 for this book. Um, however, when I was an undergrad, this book was out of print and it was stolen from the school's library and it was going for about five hundred dollars on Amazon um, at that time so as soon as they reprinted this 
I had to get it. So yeah, Kip Thorne, Meisner's Gravitation. Um, if you saw Interstellar, I'm really on a tangent now. But if you saw Interstellar, um, you'll even see this book is within that movie. Um, and uh, yeah, so General Relativity um, is totally written in the language of tensors. And so um, there's a lot of practical um, explanation of how you use tensor and tensor calculus in general. However, that might not be interesting to you. Um, you might be more coming from the programmers, uh, like a computer science background rather than a physics or math background. So that may be less interesting to you. However, in my opinion, um, you know, this is the beginning, not the end, of the subject for machine learning. And I think that as it goes, we need to understand more and more of some of the theory. So, yeah, I mean, if you can, if you can uh, maybe find a copy, a PDF of this online, um, that's good. Um, of course, you know, get it if you can. It's a great book. Um, I can't even claim to have read it all. Um, it's, I think it's like 1,300 pages. Um, but yeah, that's a classic. Um, so that's really good. Another one that's really good, uh, not as good, but um, Jackson um, with E&M. Yeah, so Jackson's Electrodynamics. Um, which you know I had to I had to read this one for my electricity and magnetism graduate level course um, I would not suggest doing that <laughs> unless you hate yourself um, but if you do this is a great book to learn the subject um, classical electrodynamics by Jackson is an absolute classic um, and the definitely in the second half we have to start using um, tensors and that's realistically where Einstein um, got a lot of his ideas that's where he got the springboard for general relativity what's called some electrodynamics so if you really want some history on tensors um, I think this is not a bad place to start however um, a more modern approach would be just to go to tensorflow.org and check out all that's going on there um, if anyone watching this video out there in cyberspace has learned the Go programming language, okay, if anyone's learned this Go programming language, let me know, okay, what books did you read, was it worth it, what do you do with the language, okay, I'm looking at this Go programming language, and it just looks roughly like C. And I'm wondering what can it do that C can't? Or, you know, what is the motivation of learning it? But there's a lot of, um, I don't know where, but somewhere on this website, somewhere in TensorFlow, that I see that they are um, starting to implement some of the Go language, which I think was written less than 10 years ago. Um, I think it's Google's own language so I'm trying to figure out why why you would need to know this um, as best I can tell it, it looks like kind of a C type language that can compile into um, JavaScript so it'd be web development but I I can't quite see what the point of it is and I'm sure there is one so if you know it, please let me know. Um, I'm interested in uh, if I should learn this Go programming language going forward. Um, so that's where you can help me out. Anyway, um, I hope this resolves your issues. It has resolved mine, at least for tonight. Um, so um, let me know if you have any further questions or if this was helpful. Um, I hope that it was, so I hope now that you are able to start your TensorFlow learning, okay? So have a good day, and I'll see you next time.